Hello again, it's time for another project. Today we're going to have a go at segmentation. This is my first attempt at this. This is basically where your template, your pattern, is cut up into segments like so. We cut them all out individually, sand them down, paint it, put it together and we'll see what we end up with. If this was in Tarsia, this would all be made out of different woods. But as it's the same wood through the old project, it's called segmentation. Now, if you're really good, you could have cut this out with a scroll saw and hopefully got around all your lines. It certainly would have gone back together a little easier. However, the wood I'm using, it's full of knots and stuff. So what I'm hoping to do is just spread these bouts about in different areas where I can get them to fit on some painter's tape and we'll glue these to the tape cut them out and then there's a lot of sanding to do so let's get this stuck down onto the wood first it's basically 11 inches by 8 inches I would say let's stick this onto the wood now on top of our tape and then we're ready for cutting right I've done away with the painter's tape idea I actually tried to carbon paper and draw the images on but it was all going wrong, it was making a right mess of this. So in the end, I've just stuck them down straight to the wood. They're not going to take a lot of pulling off. And all this is going to be sanded down, so... Quick and ready. So that's is our owl, and we're just going to start cutting it out with a scroll saw. And then see what we can do. Let's crack on with this. Right, you can see from that we've cut it all out. We're not far off it fitting. Uh, a bit here on the beach. But that's what the sander's all about. I've left these purposely small because I really just want to sand them down, round them off, round off inside there and really make that as tight as we can. So it's easier to take it off than it is to put it in there and you've got a gap all the way around. Same as this little gap here. So a bit of sanding on either side of the beak. That should slot in there, okay. The best bit's down by the feet. That all seems to be hunky-dory. So I'm going to mark the back of these, just so I know this is a back. Start pulling this paper off, and then we'll start on our sanding. Right, you can see from that we've removed all the paper. That come off fairly easy. Now it's a case of just trying to get it to fit all together. Some of these joints are pretty cool, some are just way off. All I'm going to do, and like I say, I've not done this before, is I'll start with the face, start sanding it down and just getting these gaps tighter, and one on there, and then we'll work down to the chest plate like so. We'll get that to fit in, because obviously we've got quite a gap there. That just wants a bit off that side, a bit off that side, and hopefully that will slotting a lot better so let's start some sanding down and then see what we can do
Okay, we've sanded down the best we can. We're going to paint all this so it doesn't have to be smooth, smooth. We've done the eyes. They've not gone in too bad. Remember, this will have black, yellow and brown. So we'll pop these out for painting, no problem. And that's basically it. You could actually leave this as it is, painted obviously. I think that would make a nice jigsaw for a young one to play with. But as it is, Owls were put together like so, and we'll just glue it all to a backing board. I think I'll probably go for a bit of MDF or something like that, uh, and we'll see what it's like once it's painted. So, we'll start painting this now, and then we'll just glue it all together and see how we go on. I am tempted to put some kind of branch effect across the bottom there. So you might see one of those by the time we get back. Let's start painting now. Okay, we've glued it all together. That's finished. As you can see, I've made a perch. Same idea, and all I used was a clear glue. You can obviously use wood glue, whatever you're happy with. Originally I was going to make a backing out of MDF, but uh, I'm not going to bother. You can see what the rear's like. And notice I've let the eyes just pop up slightly, just to give them a slight bit of uh, steering effect. But yeah, that's it finished then, so that's segmentation. Howl. First one I've done. It's not perfect. There is gaps going through it. So lesson learnt will be for the next one. Definitely cut it all out with a scroll saw. And you know your bits are going to more or less fit back in. But it's a trial and error thing. Best thing is I gave it a go. So yes, there we have it. Segmentation. Howl on a perch. Thank you for watching.